Hello, everyone. I am Tracy DeMario, and I'm the Superstar Director for the Senate Bliss family. And I am super excited for all of you guys that are taking the time to either participate live or to catch this recording, because we have some great things that I am 100% certain are going to be great tools for your business. And tonight, we are so privileged to have like a really big deal from <laughs> Project Broadcast training us tonight. We have uh, their, one of their corporate trainers, Johanna, is going to be sharing all things Project Broadcast. And so how this is going to work is we're going to let her share the things that she's prepared to do so. And then at the very end, when she is done, we will have some Q&A. So as we're going through, you can either write down your questions or if you want to drop them in the chat, I will be monitoring the chat and I can go back to any questions that you guys have came have came to. So remember, this is your opportunity to learn, to soak it in and to ask questions. So please take advantage of this opportunity tonight. So with that, I am going to mute out and make you the speaker Ooh. and let you have the floor. Fighting. Thanks. Mm -hmm. You guys missed it. My 150 pound St. Bernard jumped up on the couch next to me and was like digging into it and like it about to, it was about to cause a whole lot of chaos and loudness. And my husband came out and was able to escort him out of the room. But that was about to be a very loud situation. <laughs> Perfect for my start. Okay, so like she said, my name is Joanna. I work for Project Broadcast. Um, I actually started with Project Broadcast about six months ago. Um, four years ago, I was using Project Broadcast and running it for people just like you. I was a virtual assistant. Um, I now uh, work for all of you for free. Jake had contacted me about um, seven months ago and said, hey, not everybody has access to a strategist or access to somebody who has the level of feature understanding that you have. Would you like to come work for me? And you can do it for everybody for free. And I was like, let's go. Because I absolutely love what Project Broadcast is capable of. And of the 30,000 users we have, I work with so many of them, whether it's direct selling, churches, real estate, um, recruiters, business coaches, whatever you, you've probably heard of, boutiques, I have worked with them on strategizing how to use it best for their business. And when you become a Project Broadcast user, you get team training from us, you get one-on-one -on -one texting back and forth. We have our own project broadcast account that we text you guys back and forth all day long and harass you with ideas of what about this? Or you have us test things for you. But project broadcast is a text message app. We're business marketing. We're getting email in about two months and we have a roadmap that kind of leads us in the direction of, of a business marketing app versus just a text marketing app. Um, why text marketing? Well, when we saw COVID happen, everybody was at home. So social media was easily accessible. It was prevalent. Um, that's right when Facebook came out with their groups and really started advertising, even on TV. I remember seeing it on TV, advertising. And social media is great. We use it. We actually use it to um, amplify our text marketing, but you don't own your contacts. Um, they, they belong in a Facebook group where you may not be able to access them if you get shadow banned or um, if the algorithm is off or in the case of Instagram and Facebook for 2023, it's going more to a TikTok marketing where the algorithm is going to adjust to pumping in other people who have likes similar to yours and you're not going to see as many friends and family and Facebook group um, boosts to the top. And then if you're looking at TikTok, it's uh, recently, I think the legislation came out that it can't be on state or federal computers. So like if you work, I, my husband's army, we are at Fort Irwin, California, and he works in a government building. He wouldn't be able to have TikTok on his computer. So people won't have as much access social media wise. Email has a 21% open rate and you might have the most beautiful newsletter in the world, but it has a 21% open rate, which means of the hundred emails I send, 21 people opened it. But does that mean they converted off of it? Did that mean they responded to me when I asked a question? Did they go to any of the links? I don't know. Project broadcast and text marketing has a 98% open rate. And that's because it comes to my wrist if I'm wearing my watch, which I'm not. It comes to my phone. 
right there. It comes to an individual. And because you are so genuine, because you personalize it by using first names, because you are who you are and you're providing education and value, you build a relationship with your community. And it just, it's not just transactional, as Bob Heilig says, it becomes transformational. So my question right now is, are there anybody in here that actually uses Project Broadcast? Or if you don't use Project Broadcast, you can just put a no in the chat. Yes, if you do, and no, if you don't. I'd actually kind of like to hear if anybody, oh, Stacy and Carrie came right out the gate. Yes, yes. I would love to hear if anybody in here uses it for a specific reason. And then we'll just really quickly touch on some of the automation that you can do with it and how that can help. I won't get into a big mastermind with you guys tonight, but you can always be, bring me back to mastermind. So if anybody feels comfortable unmuting or even putting it in the chat, how you use Project Broadcast, I'd love to kind of see it because you guys, your network is clutch on like landing pages and all sorts of stuff. And I would love to see. I work full-time, so scheduling things to help me. Yep, LTO announcements. Yes, follow-up. Jeff's kiss. So I'm just going to touch on follow-up really quick. My satiation point is 10. If I were to get 10 new customers, even in a month, even in like three months, I cannot keep track of them. I know Amy, uh, selling with Amy was a CRM you guys use. I think some people use Penny now. Um, Project Broadcast is not a CRM, but what we are is we're able to automate a series of messages that allow you to keep in communication and that follow-up. One of the things we talk about and we actually have training on on our website is something called automating the follow-up. It's a customer follow-up or even a customer onboarding. And what our recommendation is, is something like a two, 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 where two days after the person purchases, they receive a message saying something like, hey, it's Joanna. Here's a quick selfie of me. I swear it's not spam. Do not um, take a snapshot of me and send it to my personal um, phone. Sorry, my daughter came by to ask if she could have a piece of chocolate. So you saw me go, yes. Um, and that's in the text message I sent you, um, but it's a very genuine, like introduction. This is my business line. You can expect tips. You can expect, uh, promos, giveaways, and just text me back to let me know you got this something you would send somebody on your personal phone, but it's automated to go out to between one and thousands of people that you suddenly have as customers. Yeah. You can even have the first name in there. This then two weeks later, I check in and I'm like, Hey, what have you not opened yet? I know you can always ask the question of something like, what's your favorite product? But I love finding out the person's pain point. So I'm like, what have you not opened yet? Or if you did open something, did it smell differently than you expected? Or like, did it feel differently than you expected? I love things like that because it may sound negative to bring up that thought, but it gives you an opportunity to fix whatever it is and to win them over. Yeah, you can have it. Oh, for me? Oh, thank you. <laughs> She brought me a chocolate. Um, and then two months later, checking back in with them to see where they're at, whether it's, um, do you want to join my birthday club? Do you want to join my weekly tip? Here's this really cool announcement. Um, I'm doing a giveaway. Like there's so many things that you can do. And because it's automated, you'll have a bunch of messages show up because people are responding and you're like, oh, I completely forgot about that person. That was my number 11 out of my 10 people that I was supposed to follow up with this month. And it can even move on to automated birthday messages that go out at the on the day in the month of everybody on your team or your customer's birthdays. And that is the most engaging text you can do is happy birthday. And like, I, I can't wait to hear how you're going to spend the next year. You can do a promo or giveaway, but man, that one is like 99.9% .9 everybody responds to that. Or you can do like a teeny onboarding or um, like a weekly business tip. I mean, there's so much out there that you can automate that so many people already made. If you're not in our project broadcast Facebook group for your network, there are so many what we call bundle codes in there of content people give each other. So you don't have to reinvent the wheel. And I know I'm throwing a lot of stuff at you guys right now. So let me go check in the chat. Let me see. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's see flash sales. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was somebody who just posted in the Facebook group because you guys just had a big flash sale, didn't not a flash sale. You had a big sale recently, I think. What was it? Was it this weekend? Gosh, I can't remember now. 
Oh, and if you're if you're concerned with price, we have a pay as you go plan now that's five dollars a month, and then you buy the amount of credits you want. And if you have a referral code, you get fifty percent off the first month. So it's super clutch. I use it to communicate with my team. Carrie, so smart. Customer follow up. Why? Because we need to build that relationship. One hundred percent. Team newsletter landing page. Amy, oh my gosh, yes. Shout outs to the team. Landing page for customers when lots of products are launching, like a collection of the items. T oh, so, okay, so landing pages are like a website. They're free with Project Broadcast. Even if you don't want to be able to text everybody, you can still get um, our, our uh, pay-as-you-go plan, spend $5 a month and get all the landing pages from everybody or make your own. That's huge. So if you're not big into text messaging, but you like to create these gorgeous like website looking pages, $5 a month and you can switch them back and forth between friends, share content. Let's see. Oh, birthdays. Yep. Centiversaries are huge. Oh my gosh. Yes. And it's, and you can make it all automated. My favorite thing, and I'm just going to put that this out here because leads and prospects are what basically fill the 25% of people that leave you yearly could be people that just stopped wanting it. People who just moved to different um, scent, you know, life in general, scent season of life. <laughs> um, so you have to replace that 25% with leads and prospects. So being able to put something on your social media that says, Hey, text the word wax to my project broadcast number, and I'll enter you into win my $25 Amazon gift card. And I'll send you my top three cents for spring. Mm -hmm. Irresistible resource giveaway, providing gratitude, education, value, providing something, and you're giving it to them. You are a subject matter expert in your field. You are. You really, I, I doubt you actually know how much expertise you all have until you start making like a weekly tip campaign where you just give them like a tip or an idea or how to do this or that. And then you're like, dang, I really know a lot about this stuff. And people need that. It makes it, it just provides so much added, like gratitude and value. Okay. So that being said, Project Broadcast is a relationship building tool. It's very, very awesome. You get um, tons of resources from us, whether it's our training website school or myself and Don in the chat answering you and, you know, calling you ma'am and her saying my pleasure. Don says my pleasure. That's how you can tell the difference. She says my pleasure. I say ma'am. That's how you know. Anyways. Okay. That being said, are there questions I can answer right now? I threw a lot at you all. And I know there's got to be at least two questions. And if anybody wants a chocolate caramel, my daughter brought us one. <laughs> She's a sweetie. You can put it in the chat. You can ask the question out loud. No questions. Don't be shy, Tracy. Um, yes, email's coming at the end of February. It is. I have a question. Yes, ma'am. Um, so I know you said for the basic, we could do the $5 and that would give us the landing pages. Um, so what is the, um, and I'm sorry if you already mentioned it, but what is the next, um, or what is like the most basic plan that you can get if you want to utilize the text? So you can do the $5 a month and then just buy the credits you want, because maybe you don't need 500 credits. And let me, let me break down credits. Chatting back and forth is free. Getting responses is free. It's just like a regular cell phone. It's when you schedule out a message to like go out on Monday, or you schedule out a response to people who opt in with a keyword, anything automated and scheduled is a credit. So the basic is $15 a month and you get 500 credits. And if you have a very large team, I would still wanna sit down with you if you had time to kind of strategize on how to use your credits. So you're not spending, on, spending those credits on non-engagers. And trust me, I have a lots of time. So if you have questions, you just ask. Um, if you do the pay as you go, it's the $5. But then you buy like a hundred credits or 150 credits because you may not need 500 and you better not be spending the money that you don't need to spend because that's in business. You have to be super cognizant profit versus loss. Is this text messaging platform bringing me enough money to make up for that $5 a month that I'm spending on it? 
which is, I think, a gallon of gas in California. So that's where I live right now. That's something I feel like you need. <laughs> Peggy, can you start from the beginning? Always. You can always, and you guys can text me here. Hold on. Let me give you my number. You can text me and you don't even have to be a project broadcast user and ask me questions. So it's $5 a month or how much annually? Um, so $5 a month. We are moving to annual plans the 18th, but you don't have to do an annual plan. You can do a monthly plan. So if you look at pricing, let me pull it up really quick. Yeah, we recently got um, a note from what's called Twilio. They're the communications platform we use. They were upping their prices. And so Jake said, Jake is our CEO co-founder. He said, I'm going to move to annual plans if people want, and it won't cost them more. Or they can go monthly, and I think it's like a $3 increase. So right now... Um, the starter plan is $15 a month for 500 credits and the credits roll over. And if you have a referral code from one of your leadership, you get 50% off the first month, if that makes sense. That was actually a very good question. Thank you for asking it. Yeah, what, if you have, what if you have the $25 plan and you want to go, go down? down to the $15 plan? Do you it. lose your credits? No. 100% do that. I'm the type of person that I'm going to adjust according to what works best for me. If you go to the pay as you go plan, though, if you go from business to pay as you go, you can only maintain one month's worth of credits that you have created. So I would recommend not going to pay as you go, just going down to the starter and then deciding, is this working for me? And if you find yourself, you have a lot of credits, you need to text me because I can give you a ton of things to do that encourages engagement, relationship, and sales. It just might be you haven't figured that, that part out yet, or you're not ready to move on to leads and generation or lead generation and prospecting. It just comes down to what your vision is and what you're trying to do, which is build a relationship. I asked me them. Yep, Jackie, very smart. Oh, Mom, Pa Scott, I absolutely adore you right now because I saw you all sitting down. Um, yes, so... If you send one message to 10 people and you make it go out tomorrow morning at 10 a.m., 10 credits. Easy, easiest breakdown ever. You guys can come work for us. Thank you. I mean, my whole day. If you have the $15 plan, can you change to the $5? Carrie, that is what I'm talking about, where if you have the $15 plan now and you have a bunch of credits stored up, you can only maintain one month of them if you go to the pay-as-you-go plan, which is $5. Yeah, text me for sure. I'd love to, to figure out if you have a lot of credits, please text me. We can find your non-engagers. We can talk to expired clients. We can do a weekly tip. We can do lead generation and prospecting. I mean, give me something to talk about. I will get on a soapbox about it. Mm. See, I knew there was two questions in there. If you are concerned about this being hard or you're intimidated by it, you have Don and me literally walking you step by step. And you have Chuck and Cindy, who are our support team, who can help you as well. We have tons of resources, but we are the only app out there that literally you can text me. And I'm like, hi, what can I do to help you? And we can get on a Zoom call and we can chat and walk through what you need. Anything I else? Question. Yes, please. Um, so I know that you mentioned the sell with Amy app that we used to use um, yes. and that you guys don't exactly do the same things, mm -hmm. but you can still do customer follow-up. Do you think okay. that there will ever be any, I don't know if you're familiar with the Amy app, what we had, but oh, yeah. do you think that there will ever be any um, additional features like the customer uh, follow-up in the future with Project That is our Project? goal. A hundred percent. We actually, so we actually talked to Amy selling with Amy because they're really, they were a really nice company. Like their customer service was great. Their, I don't know who she was. I think their lead sales team member, super awesome lady. They were really great. It just typical, like technology driven stuff. And anyways, yeah, super great company. And we are definitely looking forward to doing a CRM project broadcast is not just going to be text marketing and email. I mean, we already developed spaces, which basically replaces a lot of aces in there, replaces Facebook groups in Project Broadcast. Soon you'll be able to comment and post and react. And I mean, we're giving you a spot where you don't have to go on Facebook anymore. You can do it in Project Broadcast. 
And then you can even have a free account with Project Broadcast just to communicate with your teenies. So, but yes, to answer your, your thought process, yes, we want a CRM and we want it yesterday. That's what I told the developers. Then they said, okay. <laughs> oh, we have not taken that on yet. Oh yeah, poor Amy. I have such a good app too. Very, very good. So Heather, from the very, very beginning, where do I start? Is it creating an account? Is it watching videos for free credit? Oh my God, I love you. Is it signing up for first? So when do I use my friend's referral code? So first thing you do, you get the referral code because that auto inputs the um, promo. You click it. It's going to ask you your name. It's going to ask you, do you want to pick from this list of numbers? I'm a military brat who joined the military and then married into the military. So I do not care what my area code is, but that's me because I have moved everywhere and I've had so many area code phone numbers that I don't care. But some people, the area code is important because it represents like, hey, I'm going to text this person. It's the same 785 or 912 or 402 number. And so I want my, my customers to have that familiarity. And that's fine. So you get to prove or you get to pick from a phone number. And then the first thing you're going to do is download the app or go onto your computer on a web browser. And you're going to get into Project Broadcast and you're going to get a message from me and Dawn, which is your Project Broadcast support team. And it's going to say, hey, welcome to Project Broadcast. Go do Quick Start. And Quick Start is like, if you do it all at one time, 30 minutes, and it just teaches you how to um, move around Project Broadcast set your business hours. So you're not sending people messages at two o'clock in the morning. And it teaches you kind of a very basic, um, template of introducing yourself to your customers, because remember you're introducing yourself from a business line they, it, they see it as a 10 digit code. It's not a five digit marketing number. It's a cell phone number. And you have to treat it like that. You need to be genuine and you need to be kind. And you need to be like, Hey, what's up? It's Joanna. It's my new line, my new business line. No, I'm not spam. Text me back, but you got this. That's how people know it's me because I sound like me. So yes, referral code, sign up, quick start, done. And then text me with, with tons of questions. Um, what is a CRM? A CRM is a custom, it's like a management tool. It basically reminds you to check in with people, reminds you to do certain things. Um, it's really helpful when you have a lot of people you're interacting with. I talked about a satiation point of 10. I will not remember the 11th person. A month later, I'll be like, oh, I forgot to reach out to them. It's been a month. Like, uh, and that's with like, a, you know, a computer and a phone and like a thing I can write down on or whatever they're called, a planner. <laughs> I won't remember them. Number six will probably get removed too. I won't remember them either. Yep. Thank you, Jackie Clutch tonight. I prefer to text my team, but email my customers. Do you think this year will be text, email, or both? Um, our app will be text and email and both. And Dawn and I are already coming up with strategies on how to leverage text and email together, just like we leverage social media with text, just like you lever leverage, you know, word of mouth. It all comes down to a kind of gut feeling and a little bit of a uh, technique, but yeah, like it's gonna, it's gonna be all those. And some people don't like email. Some people don't like social media. So it's, it's going to be what your customers want and what you feel comfortable with. I don't want you to join project broadcast. If you are not into it, do not let the shiny light attract you. If you're like, no, this is not my, my style. I'm not texting people because you don't want to spend money on something you're not going to use. That would be silly. When you first set up your account and when you put in your referral code or discount code, you want to put on your computer. Yes, correct. Your yes. Web browser or your computer. She's right. What does, yep. Somebody said customer relationship management is what a CRM stands for. Trello, ClickUp, Slack. Yes. Yes. Insightly is another CRM. <laughs> Amber, I like shiny things. Yes, ma'am. What is the most powerful feature you would recommend with PB? Oh my God. Get me started. Okay. Don would say landing pages because they're like a website and they're so good. I am going to say keywords because you can control the flow of information to people, leads and prospects. Your customers can consent to getting something. You can define who's interested in things just by saying, hey, text the word wax and I'll make sure you get all the, all the new um, LTO announcements coming out or text the word holiday and I'll let you know about um, these amazing um, Black Friday deals or text back the word pause if you need a break from my weekly tips, because you've got a lot going on in your life right now, and that keyword triggers like 
automated messages or an automated message back that says, Hey, I get it. And I really appreciate you letting me know you need a break. I'll make sure to, to keep me not messaging you. And I'll check back in in like three weeks or three months. I freaking love keywords and you can use them on social media. And like, you could be at a vendor event and be like, here's a QR code. They scan the QR code. It automates that keyword in there. They send it. Samples are going out. Follow-up is going out. Oh, I just did a blog on that today on QR codes. Anyway, sorry. So good. You guys. Yeah. Got Jackie. She shouldn't even have asked. I'm like nuts about that. Danielle, just out of curiosity, do you notice a better response rate from verbiage typed out? Okay. So this is an interesting question and you're going to get the strategy the strategy idea. Okay. So the question is, do you notice a better response rate from verbiage typed out or a landing page link, which is a really pretty like newsletter graphic link tree where you can click on it and it takes you everywhere. It all depends on what you want. So if I want them to see multiple sales, I think a landing page is great because there's very little friction in that message popping up and saying, Hey, check out the sales here. Click the link, click, takes them right to the landing page. They can click through, they can pick a button that takes them to buy everything you want. But verbiage, my, my thing is I want engagement. I want them to respond. So I do something like, hey, this is, bless you. My husband sneezed. I'm like, hey, um, are you a wax person or an oil person? Are you team wax or team oil? Inquiring minds want to know or something silly. Then I want them to respond with team wax or team oil. and instead of a link to go look at something that takes them away from the conversation with me, I just want them to answer me because then we can start a conversation that they're like, what do you mean oil? What do you mean by oil? Boom, done. Or what do you mean wax? Now that would be odd if somebody you were talking to didn't understand that, but I mean, so what that's a, that is also your tip of the night. When sending out an email, when posting something to Facebook, when doing a message, require only one action or it will take them like they won't be able to do everything. So ask them one question or send them one link or, you know, provide one piece of data, whatever you want. But remember, if you do multiple links or multiple, like, how are you doing? Here's a link, check this out. People are not going to pick what you want them to pick and they're going to be overwhelmed and confused. So just give them one thing to do. And it really will lead you to the success metric you're looking for. I love it. And we'll be addressing landing pages. Yeah, next week, same time. Ooh, landing pages. I am putting that together now. I'm so excited about it. I might have Dawn join us because she's so good at it. But yes, Danielle, to answer, it really depends on what you want from that. It will That will define it. How could someone use this at events? Oh my gosh. Okay. We have training on it. Um, if you ever want to do like a mini series or a webinar or cheat sheet on how we use these things at vendor events or festivals, um, people can come by and scan a QR code and it automatically sends them a note and says, Hey, it's Joanna. I'm so excited. You reached out to me. Um, and then you define it with like a survey or you say something like, I'm so excited. You entered my giveaway. I'm also giving samples away for free reply back X, Y, or Z. And you label it with something to let me know what you want. They reply back X and they're walking around the vendor fair at this point. They already left your booth, right? And so they're doing this all while you're interacting with other people. So you are getting what I like to call organic sales, organic leads while they're walking around. Cause you're going to have the non-confrontational people out there. You're going to have the, um, scribblers. Oh no, not the scribblers. The people that like you're, they're supposed to write their name down on the sheet, but it's like cursive and very odd. And uh, it's me. I get anxiety and I'm like, I can't write my whole name instead you're able to get that contact information directly to your project broadcast. Doesn't need a name, just needs a phone number. And you're collecting all those names. So if you were like, I'm doing a giveaway today, just enter in by this QR code or type in this keyword to this number and you get a hundred leads. They come right to your project broadcast. You can add them to a automated prospecting campaign or a weekly tip or just a sample follow-up and be like, hey, I just need your mailing address so I can get you this sample. Which you guys have such clutch samples. I've seen them, they're phenomenal. And then they just give you their mailing address and you have a hundred leads to nurture versus a hundred pieces of paper that you can't really understand what they wrote. Or, and this is happening while you're talking to people and selling. 
So it, it's huge. We could have a whole night about that. If you guys want to talk about that, I just did a blog on that one because it's such a huge thing. So yeah, in-person events like that type of thing, or even parties, you do text parties, scroll parties, host coaching. I will, I'll put that on there. I don't think that one's out yet, but Dawn did like a couple vendor event blog posts that are really good. We have a blog in case you guys are wondering. And it's very sarcastic because it's mostly me. <laughs> yeah, vendor events are huge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you, if you guys ever want to do training on it or create anything together, we can, that's the other thing you can hire. You don't, you don't hire me. I work for you for free. You can have me come in and we can build this content together. We can strategize together, whatever you need. Tracy knows she's got my number. I'm trying not to keep talking. I'm trying to like slow my roll right now. Can we use PB customers to refer potential customers or teamies to us? Oh yeah. Oh, heck yeah. Like, are you talking about, um, like, um, Danielle asks Tracy to text her wax or something like, what are you, what is your, what do you mean by refer? Um, like if we, like if a customer, um, knew somebody that might be interested in purchasing Sensi from us, or <laughs> they knew of somebody who might be interested in joining our team, like what would you recommend would be the best way to do that? Would that be like a keyword type? Yeah, this is so cool. Like you can have the keyword be bliss and it would just be like, Hey, just text bliss to this number. Or if it's a story on Instagram, we can do a text generated code, like a URL. And then they just click it with their phone and it goes right to their text message. You press send and it goes to the project broadcast number. And then bliss could have an automated response. That's like, Hey, um, you probably got my number or my name from one of my friends, one of my teenies. Um, I just wanted to check in and see how you're doing, get to know you a little bit better. Can you make sure you update your information? My phone click here. And it's a contact link that updates their first and last name, start the conversation. And then everybody that texts you bliss is tagged like a little, little posted on their name with bliss. So, you know, is my referral program working? How many people in the last month that I get referred to me type thing? Like you can create so many like success metrics with that to determine if it's working, but yeah, keywords clutch. I'm telling you, that's my favorite part. They're like available to do anything. This is fun. You guys ask good questions. Scented bliss, huh? Oh no, sir. Sorry, he's growling at the couch. Sorry, you guys, anything else I can... <laughs> Anything else I can um, answer for everybody? Uh, tags are another awesome tool for keeping track of items customers are waiting for. Yes, ma'am. Example for those who aren't familiar with tags, like anyone, like anytime someone asks me for this for stitch, I ask the tag stitch to their name. Yes, I love this. Oh, he lost his dog toy. That's what he was upset about. Um, when it came up on the flash sale, all I did was schedule one text saying, hey, stitch, us, uh, yes, after I made the text, I went to my stitch tag, which had several people labeled with a tag and then clicked it. That one message was, oh, you want to see the dog? <laughs> yeah, they want to see the dog. Um, but Amy, I love that you use tags to be super strategic and who you're giving information to. I love it when I'm marketing and you market correctly. I'm not going to send everybody a message about stitch if they're not interested. You guys want to see Magnus? That is Magnus. <laughs> that is Magnus. He's a two-year-old. Is tag, thank you, Chris, <laughs> is tag the same as a keyword? So it's not, um, a tag is like a label, but when somebody opts in with a keyword, when they type it to you, they automatically get tagged with that keyword, if that makes sense. So like I opt in with bliss, I immediately get tagged with bliss. Okay. <laughs> uh, maybe touch, yeah, templates. Templates are really good for just one-off messages, or if you're constantly getting asked a certain question, a lot of people will keep a message in their notes that they just copy and paste into, into this, like a text or an email or a Facebook reply, because it's so daunting to keep having to type the same thing over and over again. It's kind of ridiculous. So free up that time. You can just put it in the templates. And anytime somebody's like, you know, how do I reorder? or how do I become a teamie, or um, I didn't get my order or something like that, 
you just click on the template button when you're in the chat, pull it up, click it, send it. And then you didn't take all that time to do everything. It's very efficient, very effective because the goal with project broadcast is obviously to build relationships, but it's to free up your time. Like you shouldn't be spending all your time on your business. You need to be creative and you need to have self-care and you need to spend time with your family. So having something that can go during your normal work day, if you're a full-time person who works or if you're a stay-at-home mom, if you're grandparents, whoever, whatever it is, you just need a lot more time to be creative. That's how you do well in business. And yep, you can, so you can bundle the phrase bundle, which means you can put all the content together. So if I create a follow-up campaign and a weekly tip and a bunch of templates, I can put it all together in what's called a bundle. And then I can give that bundle code to everybody and they can import it into project broadcast with a couple clicks and then edit it to sound like themselves. And that's it. It's a very cool way to duplicate content very easily. So yes, you can absolutely share template codes. Yes, dynasty building is what I call it. When you could like think of you as like, say you're very successful using your, um, a sale promo. Then I just give that sale promo to all my teamies and they use it. Then they give it to all their teamies and they use it and down and down and down. And everybody gets lifted. Their success lifts according to that. So yeah, it's clutch. I don't know if like you're training your teamies and you want them to learn certain things, then your teamies get trained the same way because you give them the teamie onboarding. Like it's so good. I love, I love that stuff. I think it's so, so, so smart. I'm over my two question rule. Did you guys have other questions? I'll answer them. I just don't want to take up too much of your Monday night. There's no football tonight, right? I can't remember. Nope. He says no. Nope. Says, nope. Yeah, nope, nope. <laughs> we already saw this weekend. My Vikings lost, so I'm not. But the Chiefs did a really good job this weekend. Mahomes was so clutch. I know, Carrie. Let's go. And Jackie. Yeah. I'm so yeah. I'm so I'm so way we so way both them beat the bagels. On, I know. Oh, no. um, on Sunday. I'm I so know. Worried. I'm sorry. I just changed it into a whole football talk. Sorry. We're back. Okay. We're back to work. It, why? <laughs> <laughs> I love football. Get me started. Okay. Any other questions? I'm sorry that I, that I, um, I don't know how much time I don't want to take up all your time. And I know you guys do other stuff too, but again, let me put my, um, phone number in the chat. This is my project broadcast number. You guys can text me, ask any questions. I have I, whatever you need. If you just want to strategize on how to use it for your business, because you may be like, I only do vendor events or I only communicate with people on Facebook or whatever you want to say, it's going to be different. And that's okay. Just let me know how you want to figure it out. If I get a code from someone and use it, do they get rewards too? Um, like a referral code? Yes. Amber said, yes. Yes, you do. If you're doing a referral code, then you do. You get um, referral credit for it. If you're part of our affiliate program, because we do have people that like their whole teams use it and they do like business coaching and teach people to use how to use project broadcast. So there's also an affiliate program out there too. But here's my, here's my number. You guys can text me if you have any other questions about pricing or anything like that. We are honestly the cheapest app out there with the amount of depth as far as like quality and stuff. Jake is our CEO co-founder. He literally made this app for his wife four years ago. She works, she's a young living distributor. She's like, a, I don't know what level she is at this point. She's amazing. And then Brian Noor is the other co-founder and his wife was with Mary Kay. And then our chief support officer, his wife works for Pampered Chef. So we all have a very big heart for you guys and we all understand what, what's needed. Okay. Um, I typically only communicate via text. Why am I not? <laughs> Come on, let's go. Can you give us some highlights on what email rollout will could? I wish I could, um, ma'am and sir, but it's still being made. And what I'm assuming is when you go to use it, you'll have the choice of, do I want to text or do I want to email this out? Um, with landing pages, which look a lot like newsletters, they're really pretty. You'll be able to send it as that fully formed page versus them having to click on the link to see it. So you'll have all the capabilities that you'd have like with Flowdesk where you have automated sequences going out. That's our goal. Um, and I know the dev team has smoke coming out of their ears right now <laughs> with how much, how hard they're working. But as soon as, as soon as I hear more about it, I can come in and explain it to you guys. And if you're waiting for email to get project broadcast, that's fine. If that's what's working for you, 
do it. That's all I'm saying. If you feel successful at what you're doing right now and you don't feel like you need to up it another level with another form of, of engagement, that's fine. But if you feel like you're like, I'm right here and I really could be doing more or I'm right here and this is not good enough, you need to figure something else out that kind of elevates you at that point. Well, yep. I'm currently using Flowdesk. Yes, right? Wouldn't it be nice to get rid of another subscription? Yes, I agree. We have some contacts who would rather get emails. Exactly. Oh, and I love, I love, 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 love that you thought of that. You can reach them on email because that's where they want to be reached. That if anything tonight, take that away, everybody. Where who you get a hold of and how you get a hold of them. Some people want email. Okay. Some people want text. Okay. That's perfect. Oh, that's some dropping knowledge on us. I'm listening to my four-year-old. Anything else? Anything else I can answer for you all? One way doesn't work for everyone. Exactly, Tracy. That's why we want, that's why we want email and that's why we want CRMs and that's why we want group chat and that's why we want voice memos and every everything you guys can think of. Our dev team is just plugging away. We want an integration too. We want you guys not to have to go to the app to be able to use your back office with Project Broadcast. That's what we want. That's what I want for you all. That would be huge. I think we did one with Pampered Chef and there's two more, two other networks that are integrating with us, but we got to get you guys on board because that way you're never, you wouldn't have to separate the two. Well, and it'd be even better. Yes. Well, Pampered I Chef. can't tell you how much we appreciate your time tonight, taken away from your family and your dog, um, <laughs> both of which are adorable. Okay. So we truly do appreciate you. And I am so, um, thrilled that we get you next week too. Yep. So, um, I think, um, it, that'll just be a little bit more enlightening if you, you oh, know, yeah. you'll be able to go into kind of a little bit more detail mm -hmm. as to how and why that specific tool, the landing pages mm -hmm. are like so fantastic. So, um, I'm looking really forward to it. Greatly appreciate you. We thank you so very much and yeah, we absolutely. will see you next Monday. Thank you. Thank everybody. you. Yep, bye. I'm going to stop the recording here.